Welcome to the Dr. Hockey Podcast. This is Dr. Jay Calvert, and I am here today in Beverly Hills with my esteemed co-host, Jason Berkeley. How are you doing? I feel esteemed now. I appreciate that. <laughs> And I've never said that before. You are a doctor. This is what validated you? Well, it, on some level, yes. <laughs> and of course, we're here with Mia Khalifa. Nice to see you, Mia. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you so in. much for having me. This is great. We're really excited to hear all about your Capitals winning the cup, and we're excited <gasps> yes. to hear about your love of hockey. So let's get started. I, uh, I want to just go over a couple things. First of all, Mia is the host of Sports Ball, which is uh, her podcast, and you can uh, check that out. It's every Monday it comes out? Every Monday, yeah. I'm a co-host with uh, Tyler Coe. And, um, Tyler's great, by the way. He's fantastic. <laughs> he's really cool. I love his rants. He's just so passionate. Yeah, well, he's, got a, he's got a lot of background in it, too. Yeah, he's, he's amazing to listen to. He does a great job. Yeah, and that's on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Very cool. So uh, you can check her out there, and uh, we're happy to have her here today because we got a lot to talk about. Jason, uh, tell us a little bit. I could see you were bummed when you walked in because you and I probably both saw the footage of he Henrik Zetterberg yeah. retiring. He, I, he seems so bummed today. I, I've, I've lost a little piece of my soul today. It's just one of those things where when you have a player who's with the team from the start of their career, listen, he was a seventh-round pick, okay, 210th overall, Became the captain of the Red Wings, and he's just—he's a legendary player. And uh, he, unfortunately, because of a back problem, you know, he had to retire. And uh, listen, these guys are not going to go down, you know, unless they're swinging. And I can't imagine him unless this was a major, major problem. Yeah, no, he's, he said it's very strange yeah. to be talking about not playing anymore. And it, it really like hit. It was so like sad. imagine like hanging up my it, it, my scalpel, and I'm like, hey, I'm not going to be doing you know nose jobs and boob jobs anymore. I'd be very like I don't even know how I'd even say that. Take, take, the, take the fact that he's a Red Wing out of the equation as well, and I'll just put it from a neutral standpoint. I always hate to see a legendary player for a team, or especially someone who's been with a team for the whole time, have to retire because of medical reasons. Right. That, that, always, that always bothers me, except for if it was Crosby, it'd be a different story. Yes. But, <laughs> but it, 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 any, just about any other player, it's one of those situations where you hate to see somebody go out when, when, because they have to. Rather than it's on their own terms. I don't see that and something like some Yager clearing waivers. That yes. broke my yes, heart. Yes, I, I agree with you 100. percent No oh. one wanted him. How's that possible? He's still Yager. He's my age. I, when I was living in Miami, I was go <laughs> yeah. He's, he is. he's, he's not. Dude, he's he's not he was 50. crushing it. Is he? He's not 50. No, no he's, he's, he's like 47. Like 47 yeah. 48. Yeah. yeah Gordy played till he was 52. Yeah. Age. He did. That's right. Gordy was yeah. in there. Yeah. Big time. Oh, Benjamin yeah. will play well through his 60s. So I I don't know if he's done partying yet. Like I'm no. not sure he's gonna make the the training camp. He's like he's still no he's on, there he's there and he's he's back with the one liners today. Uh, they asked him, well, what's what's the theme for this season? He goes, not be suck back to back. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. I mean, I I think that is uh, it's a big year for the Capitals. Yeah. Obviously, you were there, and uh, that's kind of how we wound up having you on this podcast because as a plastic surgeon. You had a very you unique, were worried about me. You that's a, what it was. I was. I was very worried, and you had a unique injury that, in a million years, I wouldn't have said, and this could actually happen. Yeah. I mean, and then it you, could actually happen to me. You know how fast me. pucks fly. Yeah, absolutely. They're they're going when they're coming out now. When they're coming over the glass, maybe they're going 60, 70. But if you remember, somebody died from being hit in the head from a puck yeah. a while ago, which spawned the nets going. And out. the little kid. Yes. Yes. So there had there can be jackets. very bad injuries. The Blue Jackets game. So what what game was it that it happened in? It was uh, against the Tampa Bay Lightning. It was in D.C. and I believe it was game four. It was game four because I wanted them to end it there, ah, and they right. did not. They did not. They lost they that game. They sure didn't. Yeah, yeah. That, that that was a bummer. Yeah. But I mean, what are the odds that you know you get hit and that you know maybe it was the implant that like saved your life too? It's like you know it's that you get hit hard. That I'm it, not going to lie, as soon as I got hit, my initial reaction, because I didn't see it coming, I was talking to my friend, the, you know, puck wasn't, I, I don't know if the puck was in play, it wasn't during the game, because there was very few players on the ice, and I think somebody was just like shooting a puck around. Was it practice then? Or was it, no, 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 oh, it, was, oh. it was like well into the game, it was in the oh. third, it was after the third, oh. mm, between the second and the third, but my initial reaction, and this goes to show you like what state of age we live in, but uh, I thought I got shot. Wow. That's how hard it hit me, and it yeah, knocked my exactly. breath out. And I just clutched my chest, and I didn't know what to do. And I, my initial thing, my initial reaction was just to look at my hand and check for blood. Wow. And there was no blood. 
but I did get the most beautiful gift in the world, which is uh, not a consultation with you out of it, but uh, <laughs> as um, Puck from the game, from a Stanley Cup playoff game. There you go. Yeah. It's a huge winner. That's Certainly. priceless. Yeah, I yeah. bought one at the uh, at the Caps um, Knights game. That thing was so expensive. Like, oh, yeah. I'll get hit in the other tip for another one. I'm telling you. But you earned it though. You I earned it. Did. You definitely earned Some it. guys tried to take it from me. I'm like, uh-uh, dude, I just wanted an implant for this. Give it to me. <laughs> I mean, you know, the only thing it reminds me of was in Slapshot when the key, when the organist got hit in the head with the puck. You know, <laughs> yeah, that was what it reminded me of. I'd heard about this happening, but yeah, that's... Well, I heard about it because one of my friends, you know, saw the, the article about it. There's, there's one of these internet articles. He's like, you got to have her on your podcast. Like, what are the odds? Like, let's do the math here that this happens to this person, that it's like yeah. the breast. Like, it's just, it, it's astronomical, but... I do think that had you been hit straight on with the amount of force that you just said, you could have broken ribs, you yep. could have problems, you have a pneumothorax. Cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. I'm telling you, there, there was some padding there. There's, there's, something, there's yep. something called a precordial thump that you do if somebody goes into cardiac arrest when you have to actually hit their chest, but it could also induce cardiac arrest where your heart stops. Jesus Christ, and it hit me yeah. right here. Yeah. Like, and your heart's on the left side. Yes. It's not directly Most, in the middle. Almost everyone it is, yes. Yeah. That's correct. And so, I mean... And th I'm not joking. I'm saying like, yeah. this was like a big deal. That yeah, there was, it could like, be like pending, no question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was a, a cop that got shot. She had a breast implant, and uh, the implant stopped the bullet. Like, yeah. it, wow. it didn't make it through to her chest. It stopped through the gel. So went through her went through her vest, and then stopped in the uh, in the implant. Jeez, was, was the Kevlar, gel from the yeah, 90s? A Kevlar a Kevlar vest. No, it's probably a, it was probably a cohesive. That's the thing is that the the new implants are highly cohesive. These, you know, quote unquote, gummy bear implants, yeah. and they're they're better because even if they do rupture, they don't spill silicone all into the body. So that's why the the new all the new implants for the last two or three years are cohesive to that level. But the yours are gummy bears, yes. which are highly cohesive. Can only run flat tires. <laughs> and there you go. Well, that's uh, I suppose if you're an analogy. That's, <laughs> exactly. That's but, good. But the old ones used to be like they used to call them low bleed because a certain amount of silicone would be found outside of the implant right. because it's a, you know, it's a silicone polymer that's it's encased in there uh, that, that makes the shell, and then some of the silicone would actually bleed through the outside. And that's why there was so much more capsular contracture and problems. So these were good implants. Yes, they're, they were. They're hockey safe. Uh, yeah. you know, right. It's sort of like a Wolverine <laughs> kind of moment, right? You yeah. know, instead of putting like, you know, some titanium metal on the ribs, you get a breast implant. It's oh good. Oh, my God. Well, anyway, now, are we going to see a bunch of NHL players getting breast implants, you think? I think that that's highly unlikely. But maybe <laughs> they would get their body armor put under the uh, under the skin. I think that yeah. would be kind of cool. That would be so dope. You could put, like, Kevlar gel things under there. It would be very good. I like where your mind's at. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's for a uh, sci-fi movie soon to be seen. <laughs> yes, um, exactly. But I, I'm really glad that you did okay. And you did not have to have surgery or anything like that. So no, you, no. You, you did um, fine. Yeah. But I bet it bruised, like crazy oh it was bad it was like it, you know the middle was clear and then it was just like a burst of uh red purple and blue all right. around it yeah. oh yeah. yeah no you got thumped yep. i mean that was a that's a and by the way those hockey pucks are hard yes as a rock. they are especially when they're frozen they're vulcanized yep. rubber and it's frozen and that's right. it even so it has more it was fantastic when i picked yeah. it up it still had ice all over it yeah yeah oh wow it was such uh, a beautiful moment <laughs> <laughs> I you're a true fan you own it so that's, so can't uh, believe they try to get the puck from you though that's terrible. That's everyone, like everyone around us was like, "No, no, no, no! You give that puck to yeah, her." Yeah, yeah. Seriously, that's that's crazy. Well, I uh, I'm glad that you did well, and your Capitals. They they did well. What a too. home run! What was that like for you as a Capitals fan watching them win? What is that? Uh, oh, um, it oh, that's was. My Sorry, you shut it on silent there. Yeah. It was incredible to wake up and realize that they had won. I mean, well, it happened in. Uh, in Vegas. Right? It happened in Vegas when I was in Copenhagen. Seven oh, hours no. ahead. So I, I stayed up for uh, the first period and uh, I had stayed up uh, two nights prior and then I had also worked at a restaurant the night before so I was just running so low on sleep. I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to stay up. I'm going to try. I had my stream pulled up. So it would be like two in the morning or something, right? It was three in the morning. It was three in the morning by the end of uh, the first period and I could not make it. I fell asleep with the laptop open. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh... It was so rough, but it was so incredible to wake up to, pe like, 
40 text messages to my phone, people congratulating me, like I'm the one who was on the ice right. playing. <laughs> they, well, exactly, it's your team. You know, you, you I know, I know, the and I've actually never told anyone, that is my most shameful thing in, to ever admit, that I did not, I mean, of course, I, I've rewatched it several times since then, but I did not watch it live. Uh, and I will never forgive myself for that. You could have been in Vegas for that, too. I was in Vegas for game one. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Back. It it was not good. We lost. Yeah, yeah. They they took yeah. the first two, didn't they? Yeah, they did. But but then the Caps rallied. Like, what do you think? We was... wanted it. Yeah, I mean, it was obvious that they were, they were not taking no for an answer. I mean, there's a certain really... there's a certain momentum you see in yes. the playoffs when a team, even in a, even in a, in, in, a, in, a, in a, from series to series, it can vary. But there's a momentum you see in a team when the pucks are just bouncing their way and they're they're finding a way to get to the pucks to get to the pucks to the net. And that's what happened with the Capitals. They just were finding a way every single time. There was never a doubt that that they were going to win the Cup. And it was just one of those things. I, I think there was doubt know. after Game 1 and Game 2. No, I, I don't think so. I still think they were, they yeah. were at least... They, they, Coming you, from a Capitals fan, normally that's when I become pessimistic and I say, no, that's it, we're done. Like we're, we've, let the, we've let off the gas, we're done, we're smoked, we're not coming back. But... Man, I, I saw the fire in our eyes when they were playing those games that we still lost. Yeah, and, and I they believed. wanted it. They, they played great. I mean, they just... Vegas played really good, too. That's what it was. It's not that we played poorly, which is usually our downfall against the Penguins, but... We don't uh, ever talk about that on here, but yeah, don't worry about it. What? The, the, Penguins, the Penguins beating oh, the Cavs. Well, you, know, you do realize, I'm, obviously I'm a Red Wings fan, and they took a poll on, the, uh, on, on social media of what team Red Wings fans in general hate the most, and it was the Penguins. Why? That it has to do with <laughs> your headlines. Yeah. Let me take you back to June two thousand nine. <laughs> By the way, I won five hundred dollars on this game, so go ahead. You can <laughs> go, go ahead. You can. You can tell I had story. seen the Red Wings win in my lifetime four cups on television. I was a resident, couldn't afford tickets. I'll make it real brief. Spoiled, both of you. No, I, both of you spoiled. I couldn't 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 afford tickets to go. But when I finally was able to afford tickets when they were playing the Penguins in Game 7 in June 2009, I flew and had two tickets on the, on the blue line, of which I could not find a friend to go with because all of them either had kids doing dance recitals or some other reason they couldn't go. My, yeah, I would have gone with you. My friend Ron went with me. Um, and I would have given my child up for adoption they, to go with you, and I'm not even a Red Wings fan. They missed that tying goal by like a millimeter, okay, a flurry stick. <laughs> The second it ended, I said, I'm not going to stick around and watch Crosby hoist a cup on, on, in Joe's Arena on my turf. And I walked out, and I was not going to watch it. And still to this day, it makes me sick to think about that day. Flying home was the most depressing flight ever. Oh, my God. But Very painful for you. Yeah, it was. But but the thing is, is that pretty, I, pretty sweet. my goal of seeing them winning monster. in person and being there in person has not yet been met. That's my. That's one of my few things in my life I want to do. You're gonna have to wait a very long time for that. We're gonna have about right now. You do. Four, yeah. It's painful. Right four or five years. Right four or five years. And especially now with was ever going out. But you know what? Listen, it's cyclical. And as you know, it's 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 with the cap. This is a very cyclical league now. And you know, in the next five seven years, it's gonna be us on top and other teams that are not yeah. doing as well. So I, I'm just biding our time. I think we're gonna. The we're gonna one year through. I thought was actually are out of all the years that are our year, like quote unquote, um, it was two, it was 2016. And I have never been great, more heartbroken. Yeah, they had a and, great team. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. We when were they stacked. When yeah, they lost Justin those Williams, first two games was, though, to Columbus in the first round, yeah. they're now no 0-2 coming back home, yeah. you had to have been like, okay, same old caps. You had to have said on some level at that point. I did, I caps. did, and I said it on my Instagram story. I actually cried publicly on my Instagram story after the game two loss. Something happened. Something changed at that game three. Yep. That they were set them on this sick. path. I don't know what it was or who said what. It's one of those guys. Usually, it's one of those guys that never talks in a locker room that'll come out and say something. Who would your time. Who would your money be on? I mean, I don't know the Cavs players that well to, to really you know from a you personality did say standpoint. It. You did say who it was. And I did know. I? Yeah, you did. Pull you the tip, Sean. No. Pull the tip. No, it was it was uh, what's his name? Uh, the hyphenated. Uh, Smith 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I told you. Well, I told you during the series. I said he is my favorite player on the Capitals. He was now. unbelievable. He was so clutch. Came through, and they should have offered him more than just a one year. Mm -hmm. No, oh, are you no, kidding me? Have. I mean, he, they stole that guy. He's a great. He used player. to be. He used to be on more to come. Yeah, he yeah. started on the Ducks. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He was drafted. I think. But but it might might have been him that said something. But whatever it was that that happened in that locker room, we may never know. 
changed the course of that. You know, because he hasn't been on the team for very long. And no. after that, I saw, even on the ice, the...